Welcome to What Women Binge. Today our guest is Erin Cahill. Woo! And oh, we have we have so much to talk about. Oh my gosh. Clearly we do. We were, yes. We do. We're just Clearly deep we diving do. straight into real friendship here. I want you guys to know that this is a pre-taped episode. I mean, they're all pre-taped technically by but a few like, days. Way yeah, pre-taped. This is way pre-taped because I'm in Africa right now. <laughs> and so we've been chatting about Africa. And so you have wait, tell me about the schools you work with. Um, so we, so my husband and I don't have any kids yet. We'll see. Anyway, we don't, we're, we're, the plan is to have schools instead of children. Wow. See so yeah, that works out. So we have four schools so far. That's technically a lot of children. That's a lot. That's of a lot of kids. That's true. That's a lot I like to take to care of. A lot of kids. Yeah. Um, we work at this organization called Build On. You guys, I could talk about it this whole podcast. That's like, okay. Like you guys, give me a signal if you're like, cut it off. Anyway, <laughs> it's just this beautiful organization, and their whole mission is to combat global poverty from the base root of education. Um, and it's and they work with kids here in America. They work with kids in after school programs in um, kind of more tough communities, and then they go abroad and they target the most in need communities in the world mm, um awesome. yeah it's so beautiful and every day you read stats of like what helps you stay in the village there's no like nobody's coming to save anybody you partner with the village they earn it um so wait, are they building brand new schools or they're helping revive schools that are there but just need you know three of our four were brand this it's the communities need um it, it, it's communities that don't have schools. Okay. So it's they, these kids were, you know, sometimes like um, our first school in Malawi, they were going, you know, they would have to walk 20 something miles. Yeah. And so the the rate, they would just, didn't do no it. One they was just going, dropped out. Yeah. yeah. So then we built an elementary school there. And then later they built a middle school there and they, they partner with the ministry of education. You guys, it's the most sustainable. Like I could talk about it forever. Cause they really are so, so tell me the cities. So you have one in Malawi. We have one in Nepal, Malawi, um, one in Guatemala, we just got back. And then oh. one school that's my, this is my favorite. We sent 10 kids from the Bronx to go build a school in Malawi. So we didn't go build that one. We actually partnered with kids over here in America. And we wow. sent them, which is like so cool, that's you guys. Because amazing. It's amazing. You should okay, see the videos. Okay, I want to I get in on some of that. Yeah. I am. I, oh, I just had a uh, exchange student here last fall um, from Guatemala. Stop and it. So, yeah. And I want to go visit him. We might go down like New Year's and go visit him and his family. And do you know a part of Guatemala? School? Guatemala City. Okay. Okay. We've, we have so much to talk about. I'm so okay. passionate about <laughs> we'll travel. Okay. I actually, we do it. I'll come over and I'll have a okay. bunch of wine. By the way, I talk with my hands a lot. This is going to be You're an gonna issue. You're going to hit my right. to it. I know. Me too. I've had to actually learn to like keep my hands down. It's okay. I am very impressed so that you can do that. Don't touch your face. Don't grab the mic. It's oh my gosh. My hands, hands are forever in my hair. So like oh, you'll just really? see me doing this all the time. Literally, I had a producer once write a note and stick it to the camera going, don't touch your hair. Oh my gosh. I have a picture of me. I have a picture of me in front of it like this. I, it's so funny because I only do it if I'm tucking my hair behind my ear. So it's funny that you like it down over one ear because I can't do that. I'm like constantly tucking, no, tucking, tucking. This, I did this today because I could, I could, I didn't wash it and I just had no other choice. There you go. Good for you. I save my Mine's actually days wet. for tape days. Mine's like, literally My mine's hair looks like wet. this two days out of the week and that's it. I get, <laughs> I get day one, I get day two, and then it just starts to look a little disheveled and... By the end, it's in a you have pineapple. fabulous hair. I bet you you were in your disheveled face is like a like Julia Roberts or something. Yeah, you know? no, I don't know. About Mine's that. just wet right now. I literally got out of the shower and stuck it in a ponytail. I was like, I can't. Mine never do. looks cute. By I, the way, I haven't been doing drugs. I had an IV and I seem to have bru <laughs> bruised very very badly. Oh, so what? Don't be freaked out. Are everybody. you feeling healthier? <laughs> I am. I feel great. Was but, it a oh, vitamin? Yeah. Get the, I, just, uh, I guess it just hit a vein. I don't know. It happens. It happens. Look but, at you taking care of your health. Wait, back to Africa for a so for a moment. Um, so yeah. I'm go I'm doing World Vision, and we're doing this. Uh, we're going to Zambia. We have three sponsor girls, and um, we're gonna go visit a school. Um, and I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit far away. It's for our sponsor girls. We put in a well. We've donated a well, and Amazing. so we're gonna go see the well. We're gonna go see our girls, which we met back in 2019. But two of our boys didn't go with us, so they're gonna meet their sponsor sisters, as we call them. So they're all. The, each of them has their own sponsor sister that's the same age as them. And oh actually, gosh, the oldest God. one, the oldest one had a baby, and so we're gonna go meet the baby, and the baby is named Melissa. So we're gonna go meet baby I Melissa. I still Stop cannot it. get over this. Yeah, fact. and it's gonna, and it's no. so amazing. Though. But oh, the programs they do there are so incredible. Like, we're gonna go visit a school because Tucker requested, my ten year old requested to go read to a class, and so he's gonna go read. And he's not a strong reader; he has a rare form of dyslexia. So I'm so excited he wants to go read to them. And then, um, have you been practicing? He he should have been. He, well, he's, he's got, got a long book. plane ride to prepare. He's got a long That's plane true. ride to That's prepare. True. 
And like right now, as I said, you guys, right now, as you're listening to this, we are literally doing this right now. <laughs> but um, we're also going to see like a, a, a medical community and uh, we go visit their savings group. There's like a girl's savings group where like one has the lockbox and four have the keys and they're from all different villages. They all have to meet. They have to set their time and they all come meet. And if you're late, you have to pay. Like last time I had to give like 10,000 kwacha or something like that because I was oh, late to show up. Amazing. So we had to give them 10,000 kwacha, which I think is like five bucks to put in the um, in the case. And then they like they loan out and then they get it back with interest. And like so so they can loan girls if they tell you what their plan is and they all vote and they decide to loan you the money that's in whatever's in the safe, they can loan you. So girls will take out loans so they can get chickens and then sell the eggs or I want to, you know, yes. put in some crops. And so th there's all these great programs that they do. And I just love them. But right now we're going to focus on like the water, the school and the sponsorships that they do with World Vision. So because we have the three sponsor girls. So it helps the whole community, not just those kids. It helps the whole community. So I'm so excited to go see them all. We're bringing so many gifts. And I'm really, really freaking out today since we leave tomorrow that <laughs> my bags aren't going to make it because they're so heavy. They're going to make it. Oh, we have they're gonna make soccer it. balls and period we'll, underwear. We'll pray over them before you're you leave today and it will all be fine. The company Salt, have you heard of Salt? They're like yes. the period underwear. Yes. They yes. they sent us with like a couple hundred pairs of That is underwear. amazing. I'm so, so excited. Incredible. I, I love salt products. And that this is yeah. not sponsored. Like yeah. I genuinely <laughs> yeah. do. Like they're the, fantastic. I mean, the cups, the discs, all the things. Yeah. I think they it's life changing for women Aww. when they have different options for And they do so yeah. much and part of their mission is like to do stuff with uh different parts of the world that are struggling with uh what do they call it menstruation insecurity Isolation. yeah something like that they don't have access all the time to what yeah. they need oh, no. and so they have they to skip isolate. school yeah. they skip work they oh, yeah. yeah yeah so but the uh, the school thing is going to be interesting i'm going to go see this school in zambia so i'll think this of you this is amazing that you're doing that well, thank you. well i so want to go with you many too. pictures so I'm gonna many so videos many. i'm going to post as many as i can whenever i have wife i'm going to be as we say off the grid, which <laughs> I'm so while. excited about. Yeah. I do not want to be on the grid. I am so excited. Yeah. I'm bringing so many books. Oh. And I am ready. Okay. How many books are you going to bring? Because also your luggage. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I should have re-upped my Kindle, but I haven't. Um, no, I'm really into the Colleen Hoover books right now. I just did It Ends With Us. You don't know Colleen Hoover? Are you, you a reader? Guys. It's okay. But you've seen her. If you... Now that you know her name, the next airport you walk in, you're going to be like, oh, there's 20 right there. Okay. She's on every grocery store shelf. She's in every Target. She's every movie oh, is every airport. Airport. Blake Lively's doing her movie right now, the one I'm just finished. Which the there's book, major oh. controversy about. Have you heard this? Why? People are ticked about her wardrobe. How she Why? looks. Because she has a very distinct personality, and they describe in the books how she is dressed and how she carries herself, and apparently they've taken some liberties with the movie and dressing her in a certain way that doesn't necessarily... Yeah, it is kind of weird. Like, she's sort of supposed to be a thing. I think, if I remember correctly with the book, I mean, I'm reading it right now, I should know. Like, it felt like a little bit bohemian style, maybe. Yeah. But... Um, she's kind of a little more grunge. It's a little... In, yeah, it's so a little far, grunge. Yeah. It's a little sloppy-ish. Oh. Oh. Yeah. She looks real... Uh, yeah, she kind of comes across really sloppy. Yeah. Which is so weird. But we're like, only seeing yeah, photos totally. from behind the scenes. We don't know... Right. Who knows how it's going to appear. And that could and be a flashbacky thing or a sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there is some flashback stuff in that story, so maybe oh, yeah. maybe that's why. But anyway, I suggested read it. It's a little hot too. There's some hot stuff. Oh, and Verity Atlas. is another really good calling. Who I'm bringing Verity with me too. You'll, yeah, I'm you're bringing, gonna so it's I'm reading right now. It ends with us, which I hope I'll finish tonight before I get on the plane tomorrow, so I can leave that one behind. And then I'm bringing <laughs> it begins with us, which, which is, is the sequel. Mm -hmm. Ooh. But because I read the back of that book, I already know what happens in the first one. Thank you. <gasps> why oh, did you do that? No. Because I was trying well, to buy it in the airport. And I just wanted to see if it actually related to the other one, and I oh, didn't realize it was going to give away all no. the information. And then I'm bringing Verity, so we'll see what happens if okay. I if I get through. Well, those I hope two, you I'll... finish the one tonight so yeah. that you can only bring two. I know. Let's get this. Let's yes. get this interview over with so I can go read that <laughs> book. <laughs> <laughs> but that I'm, being said, so okay, hi. Hi, Nash villain. Sorry, my hands are. You're yeah. another Nash villain. Nash villain. <laughs> uh, by the way, I had not heard that phrase before, which is oh, crazy. I started. Just, I, I started calling like everybody Nash basically. villains because I like it better than Nash villain. I yes. feel like there's an unnecessary I in there. But also, yeah. it also it's just accurate. Nash villains. We're chilling like a villain. We're total troublemakers over here. <laughs> well, I think it's more than. I mean, I can claim to be maybe a tourist still, since I'm still less than three years out, but. I feel like the tourists come here and just get in trouble, right? They're all oh. like sloppy, oh. drunk, it, party. There's some really fun Instagram accounts if you yeah. if you like that kind of thing. Because the buses. 
Oh, there's the, the buses, buses. The there's pedal just, bike bars. There's people yeah. on Broadway just waiting to capture your most embarrassing moment. Just know that. Yes. Like, if you're coming here to... Yes. Especially a, a, an Instagram page called Music Shitty. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the best one. <laughs> okay, I'm genuinely going to follow that, like, the minute we Oh, it's, it's amazing. hilarious. It's amazing. And then there's, like, what is it? Broadway and Censored, and there's... Um, Oh gosh, I, can't oh, I don't remember. know that one. There's ton. They're all the same. So, wait, so how long have you lived here? Um, so we got the house here in twenty. Oh my gosh, you guys, Halloween 2019, and we still have our place in LA. And we were we were like, what are we doing? This is crazy. Our friends were like, why are you? We were like, I don't know, because my husband was here recording an album. He's a musician. Shameless plug. Check him out, Paul Freeman. You won't yes. regret it. Yeah. Um, he's, he's amazing. Okay. He's really amazing. He's <laughs> he's opened up and played for everybody. Like the real deal. Like him and a guitar, literal stadiums. Like. That's the Who amazing. and all these people. He's amazing. Wow. Um, but so he was here recording an album and he we had this little nest egg and we he was just like, babe, because we were looking at places in L.A., which if you ever looked at it's I mean, yeah. I, I'm not like I'm a pretty happy person. Like we just met for a weekend, we genuinely got depressed looking and we're right in like West Hollywood, um, like the bottom edge of Beverly Hills, West Hollywood in L.A. So it's like our whole lives would have changed to buy. We just would have changed. our. Anyway, he was like, I just have this feeling there are all these building cranes in the sky and I was like I've never been there I came for 48 hours and went I feel it too let's do it it was the craziest thing we came back for a week looked at the market was so different you guys we looked at 30 something houses yeah saw our house you had your pick in 2019 we had our we came here exactly a year later we got here Halloween 2020 and it was and it was already but even then it wasn't even as bad then no even a year later like we could have sold our house for almost double yeah. I was like, uh, what? But where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? You can't, yeah, you well, can't. Because the houses are all double. Everything's yeah. double. Yeah. But yeah, we, but our house was being used as an Airbnb until you guys literally the day we bought it. So that was part of our contract. We were like, can you get your cleaners for the Airbnb to clean, <laughs> clean the house so we can just move in? Because it's a live in yeah. both places. And uh, yeah, when we put in the offer, we were getting on the plane. We called our realtor. We were like, okay, the one with the yard, the private yard, yay, and whatever. And we're flop sweating, getting on the plane, like, what are we doing? This is crazy. Oh, and then the God. pandemic hit, because we have a condo in L.A., the pandemic hit. We were like— And you're like, thank God. Oh, thank, thank God. you. Oh, seriously, it was so divine. Like, did you have your doggy then, too? We did not. Oh. We adopted her April 2020, so we got the house. Perfect we, timing. Yeah, and we got her door in the pandemic. That's great. Yeah, I met the I met the puppy. What's his name? Crumpet. Crumpet. My husband's a They Brit. brought Crumpet to Kansas City Crumpet. Christmas He's Con. British, and it's one of the first things I got him was Crumpet. <laughs> So we wanted it to be like something personal. <laughs> That's hilarious. Adorable. What kind of dog is she? She's a little terrier chihuahua mix. And when we got her, she was two pounds. So she looked like a little brown crumpet. Oh <laughs> it my was gosh. the gosh. Like, That's brilliant. I didn't realize that. I love pets with food names too. I, it's She's a delicious little crumpet. They're a little biscuit. I, we have an orange cat and I wanted to name him Munster or Fish Stick. My husband vetoed Fish both. Fish Stick. Stick. Oh my stick gosh, no, that's oh the gosh. greatest. That's okay, you have funny. to get your next cat's fish stick. <laughs> my next cat is up to my daughter, Georgia. I have promised her and promised her. Everyone else in our family has a pet. Oh. It's theirs. Mason's the only one in my family. My oldest and is the only one that doesn't have one. She never fails to remind us of this, that she's the only one that does not have a pet. But wait, didn't you get two geckos? Could I just have one. For- oh, you only have one. We've got two, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got a lot of reptiles. <laughs> that doesn't even count. I mean, now you have the pet turtles. Cat. How many? Her I son have just comes two home dogs with and three. Yeah, I have three legitimate reptiles in my house, and then I have a ton of turtles. I don't even know where they all are living, but Aww. sometimes I'll find certain cages laying around the house with things squirming around in them, and it's little oh. turtles he found in the pond. So Mason does have his own turtles. He Which has a I love bearded about dragon. Mason. Yeah, Ooh, a he has a bearded dragon. dragon. I love a bearded. But he's the only one that doesn't yeah, have yeah. a dog. Maybe I should put it that way. He's the only yes. one that doesn't have a dog that we gifted him. So we have one dog, two cats, a gecko. Two frogs and shrimp that you fro- gave me. I gave you shrimp. How are the shrimp doing? They're so good. I'm I gave sorry. her shrimp for Christmas. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to explain my the shrimp. She's like, yeah. wait, go back. <laughs> I feel real guilty because I just ate some yesterday. Oh, no, so they're I'm not that kind of shrimp. Shrimp. They're no, like I little the tiny, time. they're like brine shrimp. They're like a step more refined than sea monkeys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I had this was, was my kid, sister's idea amazing. for Christmas. She wanted shrimp so bad. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? But you get an orb and then it's got gravel. And then you have to let it sit and soak in the salt water for a few days. And then you add the little shrimpies to it. But her yeah. shrimp died. <laughs> she gave I, me dead shrimp. <laughs> I didn't I didn't take them out of the box for like a week. And they died. They needed sunlight. It was really funny. But they run their own ecosystem. Like yeah. the thing about them is they're supposed to live for like 20 years. Because 
they just keep cleaning the water and then they excrete and then, then they clean it. Like it's like, And there's a little snail friend in there who like keeps the glass clean. Yeah, and so they're like doing all the things like it's like its own little biosphere ecosystem y thing. Guys, it's really cool. You should make a cartoon like the shrimp and the snail. <laughs> My snail friend, our snail friend. I thought the snail friend was dead for the longest time because he was like hiding under the gravel and oh, I couldn't find him. He was I was eating. like, I, I thought he was gone. And then all of a sudden one day he was up on the glass and I was like, he's alive? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Well, the sn- and the snail is the only one that has a name. So now he's Lazarus because he rose from the dead. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And the shrimp, there's so many of them I can't keep track. I have no idea how many there are. There are. There's a lot. And there's you can see because they were so small that like you could barely see them. They're little, them. but the the like orb yeah. kind of magnifies them. Okay. And so and it's especially like every once in a while I'll add a little bit of blue spirulina powder because that's what they like to eat. And I just do it occasionally now because they're perfectly fine on their own. But as soon as they eat it, their bellies turn dark. Oh, so you can see and them. And so they like pop more oh, and you can see them more when their cool. bellies That's are cool. full. I have to come see these. I haven't been to your house cool. since Christmas, apparently. That's crazy. That is crazy. I got to come see the shrimp. Can we do, I just, am, I'm about to invite myself you to your house. You can come to my house uh, Can we do a girls' wine Let's night when you get back? Wine yes, night we, can, we can go to the pool, we can hang out. And Joy, so your friend, so Bethany, Joy, we have to yes. talk all things Hallmark, first of all. Um, I'm more of a lifetime girl, but Burn all of it. you Hallmark people. So at Christmas Con, we saw each other a few weeks ago. Um, it was so fun, but I felt like such an outsider because I'm the only one that's not oh, on no. Hallmark. No, it's oh, fine. No. It was fine. No, it was okay. Like, I'm not like that. Okay. But like, I was like, I'm the only one here that's not on Hallmark because you guys all did the field trip to the Hallmark headquarters. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then you, and so tell me how many of the Hallmark hotties you have or hunks you have worked with. Okay. Can I just also tell you? So I've known, uh, Andrew Walker, uh, for eight, six, 17 or 18 years we did a oh, pilot wow. together that like that long ago yeah we've never done a Hallmark movie oh you haven't done one no Wes Brown I've known him for also like 17 years but I did get to work with him he's so sweet two years ago he's I mean they all are honestly they are all so sweet like truly wonderful guys nicest guys family guys great guys and you're gonna have to fake make out home. with someone they should be good people everyone at home though yes. that thinks that they're like they really are these like, are truly. really the nicest guys Jonathan truly. Bennett they live oh, up to it Jonathan Bennett that guy Oh, there's Jesse Hutch. Like, we like these guys. Je- so, Jesse, I did a movie for, not Hallmark, but I did like a like an indie rom-com for that ended up on the W Network. But he, wait, have you had him on your show? No, not yet. We, we need, need to. to. Oh, yeah. He's a, yeah. He's a Nashville too. Yeah, right? he's been, yeah. He and his wife have come, he and the kids have come over for dinner before and stuff. Yes. We'll all have to get together. I mean, Lorelai. Oh, oh, yeah. Right? Is that oh, his hey. wife? Yeah. His wife. Have you guys ever had Sarah Lancaster on? No. Do you know her? I do. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was another say, one? Yeah. yeah. Just need to make the list. <laughs> yeah, there's a few more Nash villains we have to uh, Christian Chenoweth. with. We went to see Christian <gasps> Chenoweth with the other night. That we does she Joy. live here? I'm not sure I would be able to like contain myself. No, I wouldn't either. I just we like, just found out she lives here. Like uh, at her concert. I don't think you'd have to contain yourself because I don't think she would stop talking long enough for us the to talk. Amount of energy <laughs> in that woman. True. I know. The, I, I've only met one other person in my whole life who has that. It like She's exudes a firecracker. That. It is yes. just. Yes. I, I don't know. She might set the place on mm-hmm. fire. Yeah. Like, it might just yeah. blow up. And that's what she does. And that's why people love her, right? Totally. And then her jokes, because we I only got to see her perform one time. She did like maybe, I don't know, four or five songs that Hallmark had an event at Radio City Music Hall last oh, year. Oh, yes. I in know. November. You guys all the great events. And she, oh my gosh, I'm so thankful. So thankful. <laughs> Thank you, Hallmark. I love you. Um, but they But she performed and she was telling these jokes in the middle. We were like... She's doing she's like funky. a stand-up act. Sometimes she does it in the... I actually... Do you know that I actually thought she was more of a stand-up than she was of a singer? I, you, really? I mean, I knew she did Broadway and stuff, but I thought she did more... Because I just think of her as a comedy girl. She's so she funny. So funny. Oh, that's so funny. You're right. Because of all her movies and I stuff. I just don't but, see a lot of Broadway. Oh, so, and I know so, her because of Wicked. Uh, so yeah. to me, she's... This one over here never has seen, never seen Wicked. Don't I know? Don't look at me. So, I'm sorry, guys. We're I'm just going to buy out like, the entire Wicked. loge. I think at TPAC and take every I've woman I've ever met. I've also never seen Hamilton. I feel like I am just the one. I know. Look at. I'm look so at, sorry. I need to go There's on like judgment. There. I know. I need to. <laughs> you can't that was see a hard because stare. of the Botox. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I just feel like I need to go to New York for one long weekend and see every play yes, because let's I am so. I, but I love, do you know what I did yesterday while I was packing thing. for Africa? I'm like listening to the soundtrack of Les Mis because Kristen oh. Chenoweth sang a song from Les yeah. Mis the other night. Which one? Which, uh, Bring Him Home. Bring him home. Oh. She sang it for the troops, she said, like it with the troops in her mind. It was. It was spectacular. Yes, we all cried. Standing ovation. Oh, like, it was but so powerful. It made me remember the soundtrack again. And that's that's a play I've seen over and over. I had all the friends. Lacey Chabert was in it. 
all my friends were like Speaking in. Speaking of lacy. Look at yeah. that. Oh, You're wearing yes, Lacey guys, Chabert. I'm wearing Lacey's uh, sweatsuit. So it's next really time you see cute. me when I'm wearing the same thing, don't judge. Um, uh, no, this, I, want I want this. Too. This is how I got it. So she's got a black one with hearts. And we, I'm getting yeah, hearts. It's with hearts. Is it They're pink so hearts? cute. They're uh, pink and blue, I think. Yes. Okay. That's I know. It's so precious. Yeah. So I saw her at the airport and I was like, Lacey, I love this. And she was like, oh, it's mine actually. And I was like, I have been meaning to buy some of your stuff. And she offered to send me some. And I was like, no, you're a startup. And I'm so proud of you. And so I went on. I tried to buy the black one, but they didn't have my size. So I bought so I bought this nice. one instead, which I'm quite thrilled about. So cute. Yeah. Thanks, I love guys. it. I'm going to live in it now. Cute. Yeah. And we love Lacey. I mean, I've oh, known Lacey, Lacey since her Broadway. Since she was. Amazing. She was uh, Cosette. And she was on Broadway. I and I know. saw that play over and over again because all my friends, my sister, I don't know how we always got in. I think one of my sisters might have been an understudy. Or, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we were friends with the Chabert, the whole Chabert family. Oh. Um, her big sister, Wendy, was was my dear friend. And then um, Chrissy was my sister's friend. And then her brother was friends with my brother. And Lacey went out on one date with my with my brother. Like It was like we were very, very close for like a year or two. And I had no idea. at the time, she's doing Lame because she's an amazing singing voice. And um, so she was doing Les Mis. And so that's one of the plays I've seen. I've seen Miss Saigon over and over again. But I've really not seen a whole lot more. Like this I've seen Rent. We're and We're going. And I'm going to plan two plays a day. We're going to hit the matinee. Yeah. We're going to hit a I'm night show. It. We're just going to fill get it up all an in. entire Broadway, weekend. Broadway trip. I love it. Oh, And Jessica Chastain coming? is about to end. No, I will. 100%. I'm actually going. Do you want to come August 1st and 2nd? I want to go see some shows. Do you want to come? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, I'm in. You are? This is yeah. what you do? Yes. You do this? Yeah. Are you serious? Do I mean, I'll be there. We'll, we'll discuss. We'll discuss. Yeah. Off, off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. All right. I like it. Yeah, I need to get some. I need to I need to watch some plays. I just feel like, yeah, like it's like blasphemy in our industry to not know all these plays. Like, I feel like I'm missing out on so much. Not only, like, culture, pop culture, everything. Like, I feel like I can't be in on conversations. It's like before I watched Game of Thrones, I just had no clue what people were talking about. Years. I did not watch Game of Thrones for years. I was like, yeah, I saw the pilot. And I don't know why. I just never. And then we were going to Croatia for a friend's wedding. And so I was like, you know what, guys? I'm just going to jump in. And my friend's like, you <laughs> you can't just jump in. It was like season seven or something. Oh, oh, oh no. I did. You Girls, jumped I did. season seven? My sweet, wonderful husband, every episode, every three minutes would pause and go, okay, so they're actually brother and sister. You know, I'm like. Oh, you miss so much. <clears throat> I miss so much. So my wonderful husband <laughs> tried to give me like an abridged <laughs> version. And finally, at one point, he's like. Babe, can we just watch one episode and I'll try to explain after because it was so tough for Did you ever go back and watch it all? No. You haven't? No, I just finished it from there. Now she knows. Why? The, know. But the first season, but like the Red Wedding and the- I did miss the Red Wedding. Battle everything. of the Bastards and like you have to- I have to go back and watch it. I never understood and I was like, I'm not. I've I'm never not, watched I'm it. Not. I can't watch it. It would emotionally traumatize me. I, know. I think you need to start in the second season. It's not as violent as the first season. I just, I, but the first season see, is I like sex stuff, and brutality and like evil, and you're just like nobody's safe. That's what I like about the show is that yes. nobody's safe. You're like anyone mm -hmm. could die. I am too emotionally attached show. to all people. <laughs> all I can't this would be a good it. lesson in not being attached. <laughs> no, it would just be a nice bill you for my therapist. Numb her. <laughs> my therapist is like, yes, watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm great at I'll undo stuff. it. Don't worry. Oh, wait, we have to talk about your friends with Catherine Sutherland, too. Yes. All of my favorite people you are connected and I don't yeah. understand all how these I'm not villains. There's Arnie. all these Nashville villains. You're also, uh, wait, you never answered the question about the Hallmark hunks, though. Who oh, have yeah. you? Oh, okay, so by the way, Victor Webster, I've known for literally like 18 years as well. He dated a really good girlfriend of mine, but we've just always been buds. He actually stayed at our house for a while recently. Anyway, here in Nashville. Um, uh, who have I worked with? I, what, Wes Brown. Okay. Because finally, after like 17 years, I got I produced my first Hallmark movie. And he was my producing partner, the one that introduced us years ago, whatever, blah, blah. blah. Uh, let's see. I I'm, it's like I've worked with kind of like I just worked with Marco Grazzini, who's from Virgin River. If you watch that show, yeah. but he's not like, I, I guess he's not like, he's not a Hallmark hunk yet. I guess. He's on his way up. He needs a few so? more. But he's what, so. What qualifies you? I, I think it's one of these guys that has one every year. Like more than one? Or like, or yeah, like, okay. like maybe three plus. Maybe we're saying three plus. I don't oh, know. Oh, there so we go. Gotta I'm going to go real season. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I've only ever Tyler. worked with Tyler. Like, what about Tyler Hines? I've who, never worked with Tyler. By the way, this guy, I still can't quite figure out who is he is. Is he the Apple guy? What? Which one has the apples? Oh, no, that's Andrew Walker. That's Andrew Walker. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm totally going to tell Andrew. 
because she called him the apple guy. That's so great. <laughs> well, I, mean, I posted him as like, the. I posted like, if you know, you know, hi. and did a whole like eat, thing of like eat the apple in the airport of the video, and then yeah. of him hold like a, a portrait of him holding the apple, and then me and him with the apples. <laughs> oh, you? Did, oh, I gotta go back and see that. I did a whole thing because we we were we were all walking through the airport together, and, and there he, he is, and totally. And we didn't we didn't know because we were all chatting. He goes, oh, that, and then he kind of caught himself, and we were like, what? What? We did none of us knew. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was so, so that's the whole weekend we were like, oh. It was all over Kansas City. So we yeah. were in Kansas City for Christmas Con and he in ju- in June. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm like walking through the airport and I'm like, that poster over there looks like Andrew. And I get closer and I'm like, it is Andrew. And then I see another and another. And then driving along the road, I see another. I'm like, what is going on? Is this a healthcare thing? Is this like a site, like a spike cider? Yeah. And then I get to him like, what's with? And then there's apples all in the green room at the Christmas con. And like, like every table had this giant thing of apples. Yeah. It's so great. He's like, no, it's just apples. I'm like, it's it's just apple. Like you're it, the face of apples. It was amazing. Yes, envy apples. Yeah. Envy apples. That's so funny. It all comes brown to Maleficent. Right with the apple and the envy. Well, no, that's Snow White. That's Snow White. Oh, that's my gosh! Boy. You're right, <laughs> guys. I fire myself. I'm fired. Bye. <laughs> Maleficent makes her prick her finger. That's true. Gosh. And she becomes the dragon. You were. Fr- I do like. She's dragons. got the horn. You need to watch and then she House bones. of Dragons. You need and to watch House bones. of. Have you watched House of Dragons? No. Nope. Okay, you need to go back and watch all of Game of Thrones and then get in House of Dragons, and then you'll understand Maleficent even more because oh. you'll understand dragon culture. That's true, because I did. Because okay. I, I got, I but jumped in real much late. How dragon culture do we actually think is in Maleficent? Well, there isn't at all. I'm just trying to tie things together. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna say. I just we like Maleficent. We like I did us. the I did the Game of Thrones tour, and it, we were doing, like in, in, in Croatia, Croatia, and they were like shame, shame, and Paul was like, "You never actually watched that part, you know? I just told you about <laughs> it." And I was like, "Shh, you, shush." But, you I, were but I recognize the castle. Yeah, oh, yay! <laughs> yeah. But I've never seen it. <laughs> I was like, I was right there with him. I, was like, I would just Shame. be behind her. I'd be. I'm just here for, to take the pictures. Yeah. I'm appreciating all of this. Like, it okay. was really lovely. But I will take all the pictures for you. Yeah. Now, if you ever go to Croatia, you need to watch this first. I would love to go to Croatia. Okay, but first watch Game of Thrones. Okay. No, That's why I was watch like, I have it. to watch some of it. You can handle it. You're a big girl. I'm a big girl who knows her boundaries. You can- <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Game of Thrones is not. You can close your eyes. You can go like this. You oh, can't no, really, he's raping though. her. And you can close your eyes. Or, oh, God, he's uh, on the pike. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. See, Wait, you guys oh, are the dragon's off eating camera. Wait. The guys are just laughing. Cause Cringing. Just oh, no, he's raping. Oh, no. <laughs> close your eyes. Because that's how you react in those situations. <laughs> when it's on TV and you're safe. Um, okay, so I have to tell you. Okay, wait, but Catherine Sutherland, back to hold on. Uh, like, I know we're going. We're like ADHD, ADHD in over. this room is like. Yeah. Oh no, I'm I'm not going to help at all. That's <laughs> amazing. I'm the worst. <laughs> People at home are like, mm-hmm. what's Whoa. going on? Um, okay, Catherine Sutherland, Pink Power Ranger. You were also, also Pink, Power, Pink Power, Ranger. Power Ranger. You guys have that. In, is that how you guys met? Yes. So we so we met at conventions. So kind of like Christmas Con. There's this. Um, Power Ranger one every year called Morphicon. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then a couple years ago, Ranger Stop started, which is run by um, Karen Ashley and Nakia Baris, who are two of Kat's best friends because they all knew each Kat other. Is so Catherine Sutherland, just to confirm. Yes. Okay. Kat. So Kat. Yes. Yeah. We call her we call her Queen Cat. She's the queen. She is the queen <laughs> of all of us. She's amazing. She's amazing, right? Um, I just saw her quite literally day before yesterday because I went to Atlanta for Ranger Stop. Oh. Yeah, so I did Christmas Con, then Ranger Stop. Oh, my gosh, that's yeah. so fun. Look it at you making so friends at, at Comic-Cons. Look I mean, at us collecting Power Rangers. <laughs> I know, right? I feel like, I mean, like, seven-year-old me is like... Freaking out. Look at my life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you... How many pick Power Rangers are there? Guys. A lot now. Like, 20-something. Oh, really? And do you all know each other? Is there, like, a Like a handful of us. Okay. Um... There's, for some reason, there's, like, the originals are always the originals. And then Kat took over for the originals. So that's, like, those kind of first couple seasons are, like, the iconic. Mm -hmm. Um, But for some reason, our season, we were season 10. But we bounced them back up to the number one. And so we keep getting voted, uh, like, like fan favorite seasons oh, and wow. I we don't know how my co-star is like the red awesome the red the, the, we got super like what was the first female leader of the of the whole s- series of the whole Power oh, cool. Rangers which is just a coincidence you know I didn't know I was like 20 years old I was like I just wanted a job <laughs> uh and then I got that and it was like so really really cool so yeah that's so we're, awesome it's just crazy fandom 20 years later mm-hmm 20 years later, people are still like... But that's great. I mean, the thing is, people are always asking me, like, how do you feel about there was another Sabrina? 
And how do you feel yeah. about that? And I'm like, well, if you think about it, my sister played it, played the animated Sabrina or um, there's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there was a there was a cartoon on in like the 60s and there must have been a Sabrina then, too. And then to have Kieran and Shipka be another Sabrina and little McKenna Grace playing little Sabrina. I'm like, it's kind of like Batman. Like the only way I could explain it because people expected me to be jealous. No, it's and a sisterhood. Like, no, that's cool. It's like yeah, welcome totally. to the club. And so, and I love McKenna. I have not met Kiernan, as far as I know. I have not met Kiernan Shipka yet. But, um, but I'm like, yeah, no, I, I think it's great. Like, there's Batman's and there's people that play Superman and Power Rangers. And Power Rangers are like a great example. Else, yeah, I need to remember that. There as needs an example. to be like a thing to like unite. All, like in pageants, we always like we had rings or we had pins or whatever. Oh, so you could identify someone. So like, if you're a former, you would know. Like you have to wear like a Salem pin if you're a. Sabrina. Well, like we had a ring that looked like our crown. Mine has oh. since long gone, which is really sad. But oh, like, you lost it? Well, it just like over the years oh. of wear and tear got messed up. So you wore it too much. Yeah. Where'd it go? I loved it. It's, it's in so my jewelry box still. Oh, you still have it's, it. Okay. Just gotta sad. polish it. Polish that sucker up. I don't oh, think yeah. polishing's gonna yeah. work. <laughs> Get it gold plated. <laughs> but it was very cool. And so y'all need like a Power Ranger thing that's yeah. like yeah, or like Sabrina's. A, it's yeah. true. Sisterhood. Like a pink, like a like a like a pink like a star, patch, a pink like heart. my pink star. Yeah, <laughs> we we all do kind of. It's it's really fun. It is like a sisterhood. It really is, or like a little family. Yeah, you know, we've known each other forever because we've all been doing conventions. But probably, for like, if you still don't, if you don't know one, you probably are still like, oh my god, like. That actually happened. I was on a panel at Ranger Stop last weekend. It was like my season. There were only three of us there for my season, and then uh, two others from like later seasons. And we, one of them, I had never met, and we had known each like that's known awesome. of each other, and we'd been we'd pass each other in like the, the yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so we were like, hey, nice to meet you. We traded numbers, and yeah, that's it's awesome. Like, it's a yeah. total little family. So let's take a quick break, and I want to talk to you guys about a new sponsor, First Form. This company is so great. They create health and wellness products that will help you achieve any goal that you have. Uh, we all know that Melissa and I are trying to be healthier. We're watching what we're eating. We're trying to take good supplements. And First Form has come through for us in ways that we wouldn't even imagine. So Opti Greens 50 is my favorite product. It's a precisely formulated green superfood powder, which I know we've tried a lot, but this, y'all, this is the best. About 80% of our immune system is located in our gut and digestive tract. So healthy digestion is essential for overall health and wellness. And this makes a difference. Not only do you feel great, you're not bloated. Y'all, there's no gritty texture. Can we all say hallelujah for that? No grit. And it has a sweet berry flavor that's from natural flavors. So you're not getting that like sticky, chemically sweet that we all can associate with diet products. They are so confident in the flavor of Opti Greens 50, that if you don't like it, they will send you 100% of your money back plus 10%. That's right, 110% money back guarantee. You just send it back to them if you don't think that it's the best tasting and highest quality greens powder on the market. The other thing that I love about First Form is that its products are grown and manufactured and processed right here in the United States, and they are made in FDA inspected facilities. It's not required, but that's the right thing to do. And they stand behind their product. And I just think that's so cool. So to get your hands on OptiGreens 50 or any of the other great products that First Form creates, uh, my personal favorites are the protein meat sticks, delicious, and the protein bars, which even my kids love. You can throw them in your bag, take them anywhere you go. We keep them here in the studio for healthy snacking. Um, so check them out now at firstform.com backslash MJH. That's one S T. P H O R M dot com slash M J H. Did you know that Americans spend an average of 90% of their time indoors breathing around 30,000 gallons of air daily? It's a lot of air. I didn't know that. 30,000 gallons of air. So, according to the EPA, indoor air could be two to five times more polluted than outdoor air. And in some cases, it can be a hundred times more polluted. Ew. Is that crazy? Ugh. Well, let me tell you something. Do you know Air Doctor? I do know Air Doctor. I know Air Doctor too. I love Air Doctor because it has helped me with this issue. I am so worried about my indoor air. And especially since COVID and all those things, I, I was know. super concerned about indoor air. Well, so, and it's allergy season. We've got pets. We've yes, got all those things. Kids that are pollen, bringing all the dust things. mites, mold. Air Doctor filters out dangerous contaminants and allergens so your lungs don't have to. Yes. So the pollen, the pet dander, dust, mold, it's 
Augon with their Ultra HEPA filter that's been independently tested to remove 99.99% of tested bacteria that's and viruses. Yes, and virtually 100% of particles as small as 0. 0.003 microns. That's small. It's so tiny. They also feature whisper jet fans, 30% quieter than most air purifiers. And I can speak to this because our air doctor is like in our main living space Same. in our house. Yeah. And you don't even notice it's there. No. It's and awesome. it's lovely. It's I have mine behind a plant and then it just like cleans the air. Oh. I just feel like everyone's healthier because of it. Yes. An air doctor comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't love it, you just send it back for a refund minus your shipping, of course. So head to airdoctorpro.com and use promo code WWB. Depending on the model, you receive up to 39 percent off or up to three hundred dollars off. So lock in the special offer by going to A-I-R-D-O-C-T-O-R-P-R-O. Dot com. That's airdoctorpro.com and use the promo code WWB. Thanks, Air Doctor, for sponsoring our podcast. So one other thing I wanted to bring up before we get into our questions. Mm. Um, I'm drinking Eagle. coffee. Talk for, to us. For the, yeah, you're sucking on. Are, yeah, for the people who are listening, this She's is me drinking an iced coffee. i got a big so boba sorry. straw. I've yeah. got my protein shake here. Mm. Mm. Beverage goblins, all of us today. <laughs> Sorry for everyone in your car is listening. <laughs> yeah, totally. That, that um, ASMR thing is like super popular, so we're just going to appeal to a whole new level now. Okay, I this we can put a pin in that because I just recently I was like, <laughs> wait, what? What is ASMR? What? Oh, like um, oh, there's all sorts of things. Like, yeah, like sounds, like people finding there's, sounds. There's certain ones like of people like eating. There's people yeah. like playing with like slimes. There's like crunching sounds? things. Just sound? It's about it's sound. It's about sound. ASMR? And they, they speak real Audio. Yeah. I don't know. Audio something. Do you guys oh, a Crazy. This is where we need the brain. The brain <laughs> yeah. is not in my ear today. We have no brain today. Autonomous, Autonomous sensory meridian response. response. So n audio, nothing. By the way, I, I was completely wrong, <laughs> but it is ASMR. It's like a, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. That's and you're right. Crazy. There's some of the people just going, "Hello." What is it supposed to like? Put you to sleep, relax you, put and you they'll in a like mood? open things right near the microphone. Oh, that's that awful. Do. That would make me mad. Oh yeah, and they'll they'll like click that their would make fingernails. Me really mad. Oh yeah. No, it's, it's all nails. Sounds. Oh, it's all different sounds. It's all different things. And this it's like a freaking me out, you guys. Like honestly, I'm having a little bit of a panic attack right now thinking about <laughs> this. I don't know why because I'm sure it's supposed to be relaxing, but that sounds really annoying. Like there's one where it, like people eat lots of like gooey things on purpose in front of yeah. a microphone. Mm -hmm. What? It yeah. has a special name, and I don't remember what it is. I'm like gagging right now just thinking about that, you guys. <laughs> I the internet can't. is full. So I accidentally did. Things. This is for all you ASMers out yeah, there. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, no. I apologize, everybody. <laughs> Anyone who's not an ASM member person. <laughs> I apologize, everybody. <laughs> um, what I wanted to say was tell us about Resident Evil. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> It's you totally, totally cracked it's totally me my up. fault. Then you went ASMR, and I'm like, let's go. Oh, I am with you. <laughs> well, now, not Resident Evil, go. Now you just explained it to me. I'm probably 20. I mean, everybody says, what did what can Clarissa not explain? ASMR. <laughs> there it is. Uh, also, it's the you enjoy, thing. Amanda and Joy went off the other night at the Kristen Chenoweth thing about um, chat bot stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, what in the world? AI. AI yes. 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 They had to explain it to me and show me all this stuff. Oh, no. I was so confused. It is. That is. I, I mean, that's a whole other thing. That is heartbreaking. That is terrifying. That is. It's like, kind of awesome, too, though. Oh, no, like, so oh, apparently her there. and Joy sit on it all. Like, that's what they, they don't go to Instagram anymore. They sit on this <laughs> chat bot I mean, art we do, thing. And we do other things, too. But you can create so much just by, like, speaking it into existence. It's kind of like a God complex in a way. because, But it's also... If you're an artist and what Joy is doing with her, you know, her paper that's coming out and everything. She has an actual newspaper. Uh, yes. It's coming out. You got to get on the mailing us. list. She's yeah. using oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah, we got it. It's great. Yeah. She's using it um, to, you know, create images and imagery that's original for her work, which I think is so cool. And I think that's a great use of it. But, you know, there's some times where it's like we were showing her images of people and we're like, yeah, that's not a real person. Yeah, they were showing me stuff Isn't and I was like, I'm like, sorry, what? Well, isn't that crazy? It's bizarre. I think it's just I have like a little fear about it because I have. It's yeah. just it's like oh no, it can take over the world. Go? There There's is. I think it's I think it's, it's good to have totally. a healthy fear of it. Yeah. It's I but I also don't think that there is 
like for what we're using it for. I'm not replacing a human value. I'm simply using it. Yeah. Like a lot of artists base work off of AI and then like paint over it or you know, modify it or edit it in some way. Some just use it and create the work. And I mean, who owns it? Like if no you one. create it, it's you completely it? open source. So like if Joy uses it in a newspaper, for example, it's an, if she has like, I mean, I think there's different like degrees of licensure. So if you pay for certain app that gives you the access to it, then that is your original property. It scares me. Me too. Me too. It's really like, like all the those photographers. We don't need photographers. We don't need artists. We don't need. That's what. I'm well, I think there's a fine graphic line. Graphic artists. Because art is so subjective anyway. To say that something you created in your mind but used a computer as your tool or your medium instead of paint is, you know, yeah, how are you going to define that? It's a slippery slope, though. Is it, though? <laughs> yeah, because eventually, I, I, think, I mean, I think the first ones to go will be graphic designers, right? Because you will no longer, you can do it yourself now. It's well, so I mean, easy. you can do that now with Canva and all of those things. Yeah. Like, oh, my kids have to use that. Do you know that Brady's been failing his summer social studies class because he hasn't figured out how to use Canva yet? I'm like, Canva. it's like, it's like a graphic art, like. Yeah, it's a, it's a great little app. So if a lot of influencers and people who use social media and things use it um, to create like their little, a little advertising or, or, or you can yeah. put up stuff on social media. Like I used to use yeah. it for social media when I had a clothing line, I had a little boy's clothing line called King of Hearts. And I would just have to like yeah. take a photo of the boys and maybe, you know, put something over, put some wording over it or yeah. make it all blue or, you know, something. So I would kind of create this but little can, photo so then it would look nice on Instagram. But it's yeah. gone so far beyond that now. You can do full custom designs. I mean, logo design. You can edit video in it. You can yeah. do all sorts of stuff. It's great. It's a yeah. and really amazing. Using it for school now, too. <laughs> I, so, wow. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Which is which is good, though, because I didn't I didn't get I mean, we didn't. That was not our generation. Like I learned, yeah. like my tech class was how to type on a keyboard. Yeah. Well, like, and typing totally. class, I still look at that, though, even with Canva. I mean. Someone's making all those elements. And that's what a graphic designer's job really is, yeah. is to be the person who takes the original thought and creates it. And so it's it's still not replacing them. It, if you want a high quality product, there's a difference between Look at you backing up the robots. I'm not backing up. I'm see. backing up the I real where artist. I'm saying I don't think graphic lies. designers are going anywhere. I think there's yeah. still a need and a professionalism that comes. Did you say that about toll booth operators, too? I mean, did you say that about toll booth operators? Were you no, trying to help actually, them? toll booth operators. <laughs> I have a weird thing about toll booth operators. I brought them up a lot in my life. Like, <laughs> I always thought it'd be the worst job ever because you're like taking dirty money from people and kind of like looking. Like, I always like when you sign autographs. Sometimes if you if you move too quickly and you're like, look up, look down, look up, look down, right? And I was like, toll booth operators have to do that all day. Like, look out, look in, look out, look in, look oh out, gosh, look in, right. give the right change, you know, and 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 quick and fast. And people are pissed and they're maybe yeah. they don't pull up correctly you need to reach this way or that way or whatever smell wafts out of their car you've got you know i just think it would be a really really difficult job but there's that really is not so true <laughs> and i always had a weird thing about make or break your day yeah. you know like they can really add value to your day or can really take <laughs> away but can you imagine like a tool without the ones that are like have a great day you're like you just said that to 50 million people this morning like i, I know. know but, but those are they, little angels what on if they're yeah. the only sunshine Right? Yeah. They're little angels on earth, well, I think, those you guys. You just never know. I mean, yeah. that's the ones that can put on a smile still. Uh, yes. Good for them. Good for them. I mean, then yes. Thank you to all the toll booth operators Thank out there. Thank you, toll booth operators. Thank you for your you. service and your smile. Um, uh, Resident <laughs> Evil. Uh, uh, Resident Evil. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> this is... Um, yes. So I was, in the, I was in the animated movies. So my character was in the video games. And then they brought her back for an animated movie, gosh, a couple years ago. And then they just did one that's coming out in July, which is all the main characters from the um, video game. Because uh, I I wasn't in the video games because she was a kid, but okay. I brought her back as an adult in the animated okay. movies. And then the second one comes out in um, July. I'm pretty excited. Oh so it'll be gosh. Sony for Netflix, I believe. Oh, so that might be out right now. What, July? In, uh, I don't, end July 20th, maybe? Oh, okay. So that'll be like next week. Next I week. Think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yay. Very Perfect timing. Cool. Yeah. Or I think somewhere around there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Resident Evil coming out soon. July. Check it yeah, out. Yeah, animated movie. It's, it should be really fun, actually. What's That's your awesome. name? Rebecca, Rebecca Chambers. Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. And all the on all the Resident Evil fans will know that. That's oh, yeah. Like For sure. a well-known oh, yeah. character. It's it, it's wild. Like, stepping into another thing of fandom like that yeah. is so fun, right? That's got to be wild. I, I don't know that I've ever been in something where I stepped into, like, fandom like you did with Power Rangers and with Resident Evil. Like, 
But you created it, which is like so uh, Yeah, but cool. it's just a different like experience to not have not know what it's gonna be as you know, oh, yeah. as opposed to that must be kind of cool to be like, ooh, I'm going to be part of this world. Like, that's got to be really neat. It really was. I remember where I was when I got the call because at the time my mom was my manager. I love my mom so much. Oh, my mom was too. We All of our moms were managers. Yes. Now, right? <laughs> yes. Danica, I think. Everybody. Everybody. Oh, oh, no, Danica. Joey Lawrence. Wait, everybody. Yeah. 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 Um, but, yeah, but not soon after that. Yeah. But, um, but she called me and she was like, honey, you got it. And I remember I was in uh, like a little convenience store getting ice cream. And I just was like, huh? Ah! And, then, and I like scared the guy behind the counter and I was like, I'm going to be a Power Ranger. Like I just told him because I was just so excited I had to tell somebody. But I hadn't seen a single episode at that point. Oh, so you had so a lot of research got, to do. But you knew what I the, got it. I was like, I'm going to watch a couple. But you still like, I, I really haven't watched it, but I know what, what it, it is. is because yeah. it's such a piece of. And it's. It's yeah, pop it's culture. pop culture. Like, it's, it's huge. huge. And it's, it's less. It's like, I, I would say it's like the. And it's not really U.S., but. The Power Rangers are, feel like Doctor Who in a way, right? Yes, like totally, like that kind of like long. It bridges generations. And, it bridges yeah. nations. It's, yeah, it's just a phenomenon. Yeah. It really is. My son. So I, obviously, I grew up watching some Power Rangers when I was a kid, and then my husband is pop culture junkie. Junk. That's the word for it. <laughs> junkie. <laughs> Fanatic. Um, in the best way. If if it is. In any way, a fan culture, my husband will find it. He can know about it. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. How about that? Maybe we should call him appreciate. He's an appreciator. She, an appreciator. appreciator. There that, we go. He's an appreciator. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and so he he loved Power Rangers. And then our son was born. And of course, all, you know, little boys in general, they go through a Power Ranger phase. And so he had the Power Ranger bedroom. He, mm. I mean, the whole thing. He loved it. And uh, so I just see it just bridging. It's just going to keep Which going. color was he into? Red, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, red and that green. Big boy thing. Red and yeah. green. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All the boys love the red and green. Yes. It's, and, you know, then depending on the boys, some of the boys love the pink, you know? Oh, yes. Well, when Catherine came, of course, Riker is my son. And he was like, a pink ranger was there. Uh, and so I told him this morning, I was like, guess what? Another pink ranger. And he's so like, funny. Are oh, you kidding? Another he one. was like, <laughs> he's like, what is this? And I was like, right? <laughs> I'll have to do a little video for him and say how. Oh, oh that'd would be love awesome. That. Um, he would love yeah. that. Yeah. No, my boys never got into Power Rangers, I think, because I didn't know to introduce them to it. But they got really into, I made them get into, uh, my friend Tara Strong is Twilight Sparkle. I made them be bronies. Because when I was pregnant with my third child, we didn't know what it was till he was born. We didn't know if it was a boy or girl. And I was like, guys, if this is a girl, we have to start watching some softer Stuff, like you cannot be watching Pacific Rim and just like every, <laughs> dinosaurs constantly beating things. I mean, they would watch like Frozen in the movies, but never a TV oh. show. And I was like, we got to find another show that they would like if this in case this is a girl. And so I showed them they got real. They became bronies pretty my quick. Little ponies, bronies. They love oh, my, my little ponies. Pony. So great. It is and it's got all those great lessons about friendships. Yes. I was all into it. I'm actually developing a, a, a um, animated show with the woman who created the friendship is forever or the the latest season of or the la latest wow, selection awesome. of, yeah, of the My Little Ponies. So. That's awesome. And Tara. That? Tara Strong too. You're amazing. Gotta have Tara along. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, we've got to ask you your questions. Oh, okay, yes. okay, okay. All right. Ooh, do you have I know the favorite? chair eats you. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Besides Resident Evil, do you have a favorite cartoon? <laughs> um, that's, oh my gosh, thanks for saving me. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Besides Resident Evil. Uh, you know, I was thinking about this one, and I think I just got to go classic Simpsons. Yeah. I just, that sound, the dun, 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 You know, it's like in my DNA. I was not allowed to watch The Simpsons. Really? I was not, but I would sneak and watch it. I could, I could see that you weren't allowed to. <laughs> I could see that, but... It's kind of like, but my kids. Anything that said but, really, are oh. stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except yeah. for Ren and Stimpy. Somehow that was allowed. They probably didn't know you were watching it. Let's be honest. Yeah. That was probably a sneak Definitely. up the side. Um, is there an article of clothing that you can't live without? Um, hats. Really? I generally always have a hat on. I almost wore a hat today. Really? Um, for a myriad of reasons. But I, I have melasma, so I just really got into them like a few years ago. But I have... I live in hats. Wait, what's melasma? It's like, like the darkening. Oh, oh, yes, oh, oh, I have freckles. oh, so you have yeah. to wear a hat. And it's to like my your freckles. Face. Yeah, they go together. They like see. they start. They're bunched together. Yeah, yeah. They're starting to do a hostile takeover. Yeah, <laughs> they're so cute though. <laughs> oh, thank they're you. They're really cute. No, the, super. The cute. ones here are great, but the ones that are in places where you're just like, why are you there? Uh, and what yeah. are you doing? I used to have one right in the middle of my nose. No way. Like a, like a perfect 
dot. Really? Oh, cute. It was. It, it wasn't cute. <laughs> By the end of the summer, it was like. <laughs> I had freckles. I wonder if I had that. Like I had freckles starting to collect on my forehead. I mean, I always had freckles. I was a freckle face growing up. But then I did this IPL because I didn't like some of them were connecting on my forehead. Yep. Mm-hmm. And just getting to be these big spots. And That's I went and had IPL done. I went and had that laser treatment done, and then they were gone. I mean, I still have sort of freckle, but not like that. Not like freckles anymore. Yeah, I'm. I'm just reticent to do it because I do like the ones on my cheek. Yeah, you that's the just problem. Then they're spot. gone. Yeah, oh, yeah I think I need to do it. It's, I need to it's do interesting. It. They do fall off your face. It's it weird. Is bizarre. It is weird. They become coffee grinds on your face, and they fall out of the pore. Like I think what happens. I'm assuming. I'm not a scientist. I don't know, but <laughs> it's something about heating up the pigment. The pigment gets hot and irritated, and like the cell shoves it out or something. Wow. So like it will fall off your face if you get a strong enough laser. Like when I originally did, it was really strong. Now the lasers are like less painful and probably oh. stronger. I don't know. I, I don't know. know. I got to do something. Though. It's cool. <laughs> it's a cool thing. So hats, huh? So that's hats. I don't. I do like, not look good like in hats. I can't. Ball remember. hats are like sun no, hats, like, or like like fedora, kind of big, okay. kind of um, big brim. You'll you'll see on my Instagram. Like I, oh, I love like a hat. Big, do you the wear big dumb hat? God, I look so tired. Have I you seen I... the SNL sketch? The big dumb <laughs> hat, and it's like <laughs> Amy Schumer. I can't remember which three it was, but they're all. Yes. Wear in the progressively larger hats oh, by the Yes. <laughs> so funny. And that's me. My husband always calls an urban sombrero. Like everyone walking the around Broadway sombrero. is like, oh, look at the urban sombreros from uh, Seinfeld. Oh, that's okay. Seinfeld, yeah, I didn't know she that calls them. Yeah, Julie yeah. Louis Dreyfus has a whole thing about urban sombreros. And I like Seinfeld. them. You had one made for your birthday. Yeah. Ooh. Last yeah, year. Yeah, downtown, you can do, when you come, girls, when you come to There's Nashville, like where you, get you can hats. get custom hats made. It's so really, cool. really pretty, like, like um, not velvety, but like they're it's soft. Felt, kind of, yeah. Yeah. They're soft, they're good quality. And then you can burn them, you can stitch them, you can um, put little, uh, uh, what do you call it, like studs on them. So I have three little stars on mine for my three boys. And then I have a heart on another side for Mark. Then I have a cross burned in underneath. And then I have like three stitches on the side for my boys too. Oh, I've got something else on. Oh, I put really blue cool. ribbon on it. Blue like, rib- there's like yeah. blue ribbon on it that yeah you, you can, can design your own hat. hat it's really neat okay yeah. i love that if you like you can uh, get a state burned in like if you're from yeah. texas or something you can have a state burned in like like what do you call it when you branded branded, branded. yeah branded on it yes i have one of my smells hats like hell it smells because gross. Of the branding yeah yes I have I have one hat that's branded. Yeah, when they did it, I was like, ooh, yeah, that's what smells, that smells so like. It's okay, burnt yeah. hair, yeah. It's burnt hair. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. But the hats are beautiful. <laughs> but the hats look great. So wait, so you're so do you wear hats on your movies and shows and stuff sometimes? Or sometimes do you get away but with that? I've only gotten to wear them a couple times, but I actually have something coming out. I'm super excited. That hasn't been announced yet. But I played a sheriff. And when I was in the wardrobe fittings, they were like, because they it's like this classic old yeah. big sheriff's hat. And they were like, we don't want her in the hat. And I was like, guys, I really want that. I wear a hat. So yeah, I was like, let me just try. Let me just like show you with and without. And it sure as heck, I wore it like the whole season. And it's really I'm fun. So I jealous. It. I am not a hat. Like, I'm even having to bring hats to Africa. And I'm like, oh, I hate. Like, I just, I just don't do good in hats, you guys. You're but you have to teach me really? how to be cute in a hat. I, I feel like you know what? I don't just, like my hair on my I'm face. I'm more of a tiara girl. And I think your hair has to be down to wear a hat, uh, right? No, I well, I'll do a side bun all the time. Just really? go and, and toss my hair under there. That way you can idea. kind of see it. It's out of your face. See, I feel like hat. I need to see some hair on my face if I wear a hat, and I just don't like my hair on my face. So it's a thing. Hello, obviously. Oh, ponytail. This all is my the time. new mission. I'm gonna try and get you to be a hat girl. I have so many you can borrow. All right, we'll work on it. We'll work on yeah. it. <laughs> all right. Um, do you like to drive or be driven? Oh, okay. I love this question. I am such a passenger, guys. But you would think like the way I do my life, like I'm with how I am with my schools, I'm kinda like the organizer, like the, you would think I'd want to drive. Oh no. You don't want to be in control. Anybody else want to drive a car? It's the one area of my life I'm like, go on. Go on. I'm the opposite. My husband's like, do you want to drive? I'm like, yes, I do. Thank you. No, I'm such a passenger. I don't know. And I I don't know my way around Nashville at all. Oh, see. Because I don't drive here. I drive, but I still don't know my way around. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I should at this point. It's just the highways are still very confusing. Which one goes this way and which one goes around and they all turn. And yeah, I don't know. I can't. And there's too many potholes. I blew my first tire the other day, you guys. I have been bragging about the fact that I've never had to change a tire. And I blew a tire, but luckily my 17-year-old was meeting me for lunch at where I blew it. Oh. So he had to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to go. I took his car and I went. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. That's great. We ate. We called AAA. That's he great. learned how to change a tire, and I took off in his truck. <laughs> that's amazing. Good luck, So buddy. I still don't know how to change a tire. Aww. I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out. but What a good son. <laughs> well, I made him. I was like, good luck. <laughs> See you later. 
<laughs> um, what was your first concert? Uh, oh, my first concert. Actually, okay. I love this question. It's It was Paul McCartney, but funny random story. Nice. Such a good one. My mom took me with her when I was probably a little young to go, like elementary or middle. But listen to this, you guys. My British husband, who's named Paul after Paul McCartney, oh. saw his first concert was the same tour, but he saw it in the UK because he's a Brit. So he saw the same tour I did. Like his first concert was my same first concert. We That's realized wild. it Gosh. years ago when we got That's married. That's wild. That's really so cool. Sweet. That's really wild. Yeah. That's really cool. Wait, on the British thing, I have to ask you, like, did you fall for him because of the accent? I mean, partly. I'm sure it you helped. Guys, I mean, it's the face and the body and the talent. With murder. I know the whole but thing. Like, but the, he gets away with murder with that accent. Yeah. People say things <laughs> like to the strangers. The girls just like go, oh, oh what you guys, you it's great. He'll walk down the street with our dog and like I'll be a little behind them. And I, it's just, it is like catnip. And I don't blame him. I'm the same way. Sometimes he comes <laughs> at like, me yeah, with her and I'm like, I'm like. But wait, does it ever get, okay, and you can tell us, like he probably yeah. won't listen to this. Um, do you, does it ever get annoying? You know what? No. I always find it funny and really flattering. Like if I go to the bathroom and I come back and like a girl sat down and they're chatting and he's he'll, he'll bring me up pretty quick. But it's pr- I always I always find it really flattering. I'm like, but I don't know. Ask me in 10 they're years. Just, I might be like, oh, geez. Enough with these girls. Take them out. These you ladies. Know, but yeah. But now I think it's really cute. And I, I, I'm like, oh. like, he picked me. Yeah. Maybe there is a little bit of that. Totally. <laughs> I'm a brat. I'm like, <clears throat> hello. Like, <laughs> Put the hand down. Yeah, totally. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, totally. Like kiss the ring kind of thing. Yep. Yeah, maybe there is a little bit of that. That's why I don't mind. I genuinely find it cute. What are the words that you guys like? Was there like a learning curve? Because I've worked in Wales before where, and been to England, of oh, course, a lot of times. But like there's so many words. Oh, he's Welsh? Yes. No way. Does he speak so, Welsh? Whoops. Sorry, guys. I just hit the microphone. <laughs> um, I go, what we do. Ugh. Does he speak Welsh? Okay, a little bit. So he's teaching our dog phrases in Welsh. The only one I know is uh, Dorama, which is like, come here. Okay. But Welsh, have you ever seen the Welsh language? So no. It's so difficult. Okay. It's so difficult. There's it, no there, way to decipher it. Like, there's no... There's like three vowels, I feel like, in the entire... There's like no vowels. There'll be a word. It's like 18 letters. Yeah. There'll be an upside-down E with an umlaut. A and that's, P, a W, two L's. Yes. You're like... And it's like things are like... <laughs> I think yes. that means witch's pool. Ooh. Puthrock. Okay, wait. How like long that. did you... How, how? I was there like six weeks directing a movie. And so it was like... A, there, was, there was like a literal translation going on. Because I had to... Because film terminology in the UK is so different. And then with the Welsh accent as well and a lot of Scottish crew and stuff we were just like I, I started to lose my mind a little bit after a little while because I was like I am I'm I'm having a hard time understanding everybody even though we're all speaking English technically it's not yeah English. it's not it's not and it's like so there's been there were words I mean I knew about the boot of the car or the queue you know getting in queue or taking the lift, lift. or the loo or things like that yeah. but the biscuit thing they were blown away by the that biscuits would ha- you'd have biscuits for breakfast in the states like they were so confused by that there oh were, really there were so many funny weird moments where just like things like, it's a soft scone that's all it is it's yeah. a soft scone <laughs> soft scone there you go that's true well welsh cakes too i love my welsh cakes welsh cakes are great and like um did you ever did anybody when you were over there this is one of my favorite expressions the welsh have uh whose coat's that jacket like instead of like if someone leaves your like they say whose coat's that jacket which I think is like the best. Like, is that's that not so the greatest? That so is. instead of like, whose coat is this? Whose coat's that jacket? Or <laughs> that's so or, bizarre. Or instead of like, how you doing? What's going on? They say, what's occurring? What's occurring? Oh, I love that one. Is that I haven't so heard classy? that. Classy. Yeah, that reminds me of like moving to the south. Though, do you have a hard time with? And I don't. But like, my husband's always saying like, got to put that up. Like put it away means. But you say oh. put that up. Or I'm gonna fix dinner. I'm gonna yeah. A we're fixing dinner. Yeah. Or have your picture it. made. Is that oh, a picture taken? Fixing I'm so to charmed. Have. Fixing to have. Yeah, but that yeah. put put that up. Like, but I'm like, but it goes on the floor. Like, just put it up. I'm like, where? Where, <laughs> do, it down. where do you want me to put it? This I'm is like, a logistical conversation yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We should get back to the questions. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> is there a show you weren't allowed to watch as a kid? You know, I was thinking about this one, and I don't think there was, simply because my parents were kind of hippies and wonderful. But also, I grew up. Barefoot in the woods. I grew up in Virginia, so we. I didn't really watch too much TV, kind of on the weekends, you yeah. know. But really, I grew up running around the woods, so more it was just like come back by sundown. Yeah, yeah, you know, feral well, life. I mean, I was. Our children will never know it. 
No. I know. I'm trying. I tried to make my son walk to camp this week because it was just a few blocks away. Yeah, but, but you just can't anymore. And my husband was freaking out. Mark was freaking out about it. But I was like, I used to, it's at eight years world. old, I used to ride my bike everywhere. But it is not the same place it was when we were. I know. It's I know. it's so sad that our kids won't know that kind of independence. Yeah. But it's understandable, too. I mean, oh, gosh. We had yeah. to learn. The face on the milk carton. Right. Oh, Kelly Martin, you yes. work with her on Hallmark? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> she did that movie. That was like Bring the original it back TV around. movie. Yeah. I totally remember that. Like the missing kids on the yes. milk carton. Yeah. Um, there were a bunch of those. Yeah. And that was that's the start of those true crime movies, I think. Like there's that's how those kind of sprouted out. Yeah. Oof. Um, what's on your summer reading list? Okay, so I was I so I took a picture of a book because I I told Paul, I was like, wow, okay, summer reading list, because I'm not like a big voracious reader. I'll I will I will get to that question later. So <laughs> so I s I've yet to finish Untamed and I started that book like four times, you guys, and I'm then just let determined. It go. That's a tough one. No, yeah. girl. Yeah. Well, if, if you, you can't start get it, it and you can't finish it, yeah. that means move on. it's not hitting, right? You I've started on. to move on. Thank you. It's okay to put it down and walk away. Thank you. Oh my god. I did not <laughs> know I needed validated? to hear that actually. I'm really do you guys that like thank you. You you're might welcome. have just you know the a course script, of my life. Like if you don't get through a script by page thirty, you're, you're done. Like, no, yes. you I did. just did if I get to page thirty, I'm like I'm good. If I don't get to page thirty, if I'm like oh, I don't want to, then you're like no, it's no good. Yes, it's no good. thank you. Okay, but I never because I just always thought that's how you do books. You no. just like put them down mm-hmm. and pick them up. No, there you'll find books that you that are a challenge to you, but you're still so interested in the story. You won't it won't hurt you to push through. Like there have been oh, books that some, I love there's some that I cannot that took me, stop reading. Like this yeah. one that I want to finish tonight that I'm like desperate to get. Like I'm literally like, um, but if I'm hey forcing guys, it's been a while, myself, we should go. <laughs> yeah, it's a no go for me. Like the latest one for me, it's that like was a good like show. That. Like the way when there's a good show that you're like, you kind of miss those people. Yes. Like oh. you know when you have a show that you're like, I just like, miss those. Kids. Like Ted Lasso. Oh no, no, I cried at Rest the end of peace. it. Oh, I, I was did like, too. I'm gonna like, mi- like genuinely miss, miss them. It was so good. Did you finally yeah. finish? I did finish. <gasps> Uh, it wasn't, but I. It was a little bit too much buttoned up at the end. For no, me. it was perfect. Oh, it was yeah, everything it was perfect. I wanted. I loved it. But it's definitely not coming ending. back. No, that's <laughs> and if it. it does, it was so perfect. Yeah, that's got to be it. We should yeah. have lit our Hannah candle. I know. Just, we have our yeah. Hannah Waddington candle. We'll have to light her. Oh, she's amazing. Um, but, okay, so oh, what's yeah, on your so, summer? So you know what I'm listening to on Audible is the Prince Harry book. Oh yeah, we, we did, did that. that. Yeah, which I think it's so good. It is. Good. I love I, autobiographies. I still, on audio. Yeah. I still just as much as I she really doesn't like him. I don't dislike him. I don't love him. Like I fell in love with. I, I never liked him until I read the book. I don't. <laughs> okay, that's so funny. I was. I was like, eh, because I never saw any of the interviews or anything. Yeah. So I was like, man, I haven't cares? seen the interviews either. Okay, okay. That will also and now I'm like, oh, kind of love- when you watch the interviews. Okay. I don't dislike Harry at all. I just am. I'm not super sympathetic. You don't like them as a couple either, right? No, no, no. I don't have an issue with them as a couple. I can't read Megan at yeah. all. So I I feel it's hard to like decide whether or not she feels genuine in any of these aspects. And so I think that's why I have a hard time with her. But him, it's just a it's a kind of I like him. I like what he stands for. I don't like that I'm supposed to be sympathetic to all the things. I get that. I actually can understand that. Because because my husband is a you know as a Brit, mm-hmm. he's got very interesting opinions about the the royal Royals. family. Yeah, because and it's a really it's a polarizing thing. Oh yeah, yeah. in in the UK, like even we in went, Canada, even very in, Canada. Much in Canada, yeah, yeah even totally more so, like maybe. the royalists and anti royalists yeah. and like yeah, it's really interesting. So that's, yeah, I'm listening to that. That's, I'm not anti Harry at all. Yeah, I just I don't deeply sympathize for. Well, her. I think that even if you don't l- appreciate her. Or feel like he might be a spoiled brat in a sense because he is a prince who's complaining endlessly about his <laughs> privilege. But it, you got to understand, at some point, he is like you know locked in that gilded tower, and I could, I can, I think I can appreciate that. I think I can, I think I can put myself in that situation. But also, if I don't, I haven't decided about her. I know nothing about. Yeah. Her. Honestly, like his yeah. book is the only insight I have to her. I've never really seen her work. Like, I love I've never how he watched an interview with her their relationship and their But I just love. feel like that's the thing. That you have beautiful. to look at him and his perspective of her and their marriage. So if he believes her a hundred wholeheartedly, whether he's being duped by her or she's pulling his strings to get what she wants out of it. I look at it as like it's his story and it's his point of view and I trust him and his perspective on it. 
more so than I, I don't need to know right. how I feel about her. Oh, and I, if that like, makes sense. That's yeah. why I, I want to like clarify, like I don't dislike him and I appreciate yeah. every, like what he said, his story. And I do have sympathy for parts of it for sure. Like no one wants to lose their mother in such a tragic yeah, way, yeah. especially in such a public way. <sighs> you know, horrible, horrible things. I, I so much sympathy for that. But as far as like you've chosen this new path in life and it's difficult and you don't, you know, you may not feel secure. And I understand that. It's yeah. scary, especially having children, you know, yeah. coming out into this world you don't know and not necessarily feeling safe. Well, I will say that whole taxi protected. cab thing in New York that happened recently, that I was a well, little like, that. come on. Like they 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 said they were chased down in the paparazzi. And I get that. Yes, of course. They like I've right. been in situations before where they block your path and you can't get out. And it's scary. Or they're one of them might be running down the road, but it feels like you're being attacked or whatever. And I get that 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 fear, and I get that, but it did feel like it was a little sensationalized this last time. There was something in New York. They were there for, they an, for event, an event, but they like got chased down the road, and they freaked out, and it became a huge no- news story for oh. like twenty four, forty eight hours, and uh, about how they were. But they, but the, but the headlines also made it very much like they were atta- like almost like the, I, at first I thought they died or were in an accident where oh. they were hospitalized, and then it turns out no, they just someone was chasing them down the road, but. You also don't have to race away. You know, you can just let Pull them over freaking and call take pictures. The or, cops. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so I, I don't know. I, I know that it's annoying and it's excessive for them, but the last one just felt like, and I don't know if it was the media or them making a really big deal out of it. I know. And you never it's really something know. that happens every day. You never yeah, really know. You don't know. And that's the thing. I, I like people who stay out of the media that I don't know much about. I love that. Yeah. You know? The old Hollywood the style of, yeah, back when the old day when you, weren't on a red carpet and nobody knew what the hell you were doing and they were guessing. They didn't know who you were sleeping with <laughs> and they were or what you were wearing. Or you were or leaking. Yeah. Oh, whether you like, had Botox or not. That, okay. <laughs> the seven <laughs> husbands of Evelyn Hugo. That is your summer read. Okay. That's a good one. Okay. Do you like Daisy Jones and the Six? Have you seen that? Or Do you read know it? that I haven't seen it? Okay, that's, that's okay. okay. Yeah. I still have to finish the last episode if you can believe that. Taylor Jenkins Reid is a great author to get hooked yes. on. Yes. You yeah. Okay. Will you tell us fast those reads? Yes. Yeah. If you okay, please um, text me that title. Yes. Seven and I husbands. Promise you, I will get it. Seven husbands. You will not her, be able to. Put is it one down. of hers that I think they're making a movie of it, and it's it's such a good book. Okay. It's so good. I promise you on my heart. I that will. is a that is a page turner. Yes, you will not be able to put it down, sure. and it's an easy read. It's fast. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I love that. Thank you. I will. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then you can move on to it ends with us. The one I'm reading right now with Colleen Hoover. That's and I will not read the back of the it begins. No, do with not us. read the yeah because I, well, I will know too much. So you will know too much. Yes. You will know too much. Deal. Um, is there a movie franchise that you love the most? <gasps> okay, you know I was just thinking about that. So the last series of books I could not put down. You guys, I literally read them while I drove. Like I'm talking hardcover books like this while I drove because <laughs> we know LA you don't traffic. drive. Well, oh, you no, were driving while I was physically driving the car. <laughs> she actually I was. would rest them on. The wheel, wheel. Oh, so bad. Just and I'm seeing people traffic. look at me as sitting in traffic in LA. See, no, I would see people book. look at me. And, yeah, you can't. It's all the Harry Potters. Oh, so, yeah. I've read them all twice. Love, except for the last one. I, that was a that was ginormous. I just read it once. But so the movie franchise is therefore one of my favorite. Like, I just yeah. love it. If it's on, I have, I'll just stick it on in the background. Is it their I accents? I absolutely love it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just such a sucker for a British accent. Love a British accent. <laughs> you can just read it in your head with your husband's accent coming through. It's, like, Harry, but Harry. <laughs> that was really great. Oh, thanks. I can say one word. Harry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. And lastly, we need to know what you read, or you don't have to tell us, but what do you like to read on the porcelain throne or play? Okay, that's so funny. I was just going to say, I don't really read much. Like, I'll skim the news or whatever. But um, the New York Times, all the games in there, I'm a Wordle. Oh. Wordle. Uh, cro- do people uh, still do Wordle? I feel like that yes. disappeared. My no. husband will you literally okay. stay up till midnight or 11 p.m. to make when it flips over oh. for the next day. Yes. Really? Because yes. I, yes. I haven't heard anyone talk about it in so long. Oh, that's so funny. I feel like there's a group of us that are still completely avid about it. Um, have you guys seen Spelling Bee? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. The little honeycombs? Yes. And you got to make the words. Mm-hmm. And then there's one called like, it's like a, it's a, connect, you, you make, you make other words, but you connect them and they make like patterns. Oh. And then, um, I haven't played that one. And then there's Bartle, which is, which is Wordle, but for Shakespeare, the bard. What? Yep. Yeah. It's not on there's the New York Times of, app. No, I have. My husband well, has a wrestling one. War, Wordle? Like, I forgot what it's, if he was See, in now, my I have today. this, I have this app, Wordle. Um, it's That's a Wordle app. Thing. No, it's not real Wordle. But you can play it over and over. Like, I play it on the airplane when I need to calm mm-hmm. down because I hate flying. Like, tomorrow, my 15-hour trip to 
Um, South Africa would be really fun. Um, oh, but no. it's like, oh, Wait. I got into some kind of advertisement. But anyway, you just you play Wordle, but you can just keep going. OK, because that's that is the one thing when it's over. It's always like, oh, now I have to wait till tomorrow. But that's why yeah. I got into Bartle because I had something to like back up. I'm going to check else. that out. It's yeah, Bartle. All right. And you think it's going to be super tough, but sometimes it's like, you know, Cupid or thine or it was worms was yesterday. It still five letters? What's your first Wordle word of the day? Oh, okay. It used to be something else. And then a friend of mine said, oh, I do a do because you get almost all the vowels. Oh, yeah. My sisters do that one. Yeah. yeah. I do. I, I do. I rate. I do. I, I rate. rate. <laughs> this is what I always do. <laughs> I always do amazing. dream or house. But I always, Aww. you do what? Oh, dream, dream or, or house. Dream or house. I do. Well, I'll have to try house because I always do, I always do I rate. And then if nothing comes of it, or even if like one or two come, I usually do lucky next. And then from there, I've got like all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only letter I haven't used is an, the only vowel is the O. So then I know that if there's no other vowel in there, then I need an O. But I can pretty much always get to like, f I can solve it in four if I use those two words. Dream house, I rate and lucky. lucky. Okay, yeah. thank you. She's like making lists. <laughs> totally. The ado changed my life. Yeah, ado was, like, was great. Yeah. My sister and my mom use that. Yeah. Th that's so funny. Thank you. I prefer I rate, but whatever. I rate. That's so great. You know why? I think it's because when I was on Wheel of Fortune, if you don't know, for those of you at home that don't know, I won a million dollars on Wheel of Fortune. So What? For charity. <laughs> for That's charity. Amazing. Yeah, not for me. Um, but it was I, against Lacey. No. Who's like the biggest Wheel of Fortune fan, so I felt really guilty. Oh. But oh. do you see Pat the only is reason retiring? I knew yes. no, Pat's retired. After some forty years. He's coming to town. He's doing an evening with Pat Sajak. Oh, maybe no way. we get him here. When? Uh, we're definitely going. <gasps> you should get him here. We should get him here. Totally. That was a delayed reaction. <laughs> I, it just hit me. I was like, in my head, I was just really excited about going to see Pat yeah. Sajak. And now I'm Pat, like, Pat Sajak here. I need to ask Pat Sajak I mean, to come. I'm the only celebrity million dollar winner. So of course he would want to come see me. Are you really? I guess so. She is. According to Lacey. Yes. <laughs> oh, she yeah. really is. Lacey was like, do you know what a big deal this is? I was like, oh, she's like, nobody's ever done that before. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I think there were three on the regular show, but the, I was the first on the celebrity Wheel of Fortune. It was. It, that but I, is amazing. She, But you need to watch because Lacey was like blowing it out of the water and somehow I won the last board and then I won the whole thing. So it was. Oh. It was <laughs> but when he asked me, because I was playing the app all the time to practice for it, because I'm not good at word games. I'm a, I'm a numbers girl. So I like my Sudoku or Solitaire or something with numbers. And um, so I was practicing on the app so that I could get used to like word games. And uh, I would always use R. I realized that R is my go-to letter. It's my first letter on Wheel of Fortune. So there was a big joke made in my episode of Wheel of Fortune about me using the letter R. So I think that's why I like irate because it has an R in it. Oh. I think I feel like 75% of words or something have it. I don't know. I'm making up with the stat. But like it feels like an enormous amount of words have R in it. So okay, I want to well, know if that R is Okay, now I'm going to go irate. And then lucky. Is that one? Was that that one? was hers. Oh, that's yours. House and dream. House and mine. dream. Aww. Yeah. House is a good one with irate because you have the OU. So you don't, you're not duplicating. Okay. An irate house. I'll just have to remember it that. It doesn't help you at all when you have doubles, though. Oh, I hate oh, yeah. that. I hate yeah. when there's doubles. That just screws the doubles. You up. Yeah. Um, we have to do this or that. Do you have all those? I that do. Lately? Ooh, yay. All right. Guys, I love this. You're so just fun. This is our rapid eight. fire fun thing. All right. Broadway or movie? Broadway. Winter or summer? Summer. Brunch or happy hour? Happy hour. <laughs> it's my favorite meal of the day, fun fact. It is. Sugar or the fake stuff? All oh, the fake stuff. Mm. Oh, I know. I should say sugar. It's okay. Sitcom or drama? Oh, Ooh, both. Can I say both? I can't pick, really. Okay. Oh, sorry. Fine. I will we'll do this or that by. for the rest of my promise. <laughs> <laughs> um, CSI or Law and Order? Law and Order. SVU. Oof. Dun dun. <laughs> I, dun dun. Obsessed. Dick Wolf. Oh. <laughs> oh. I've never met Dick, but. Me neither, right but I mean, he's I see his name be. all the time. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> all the time on my TV. Uh, vinyl or streaming? Vinyl. Uh -huh. Yeah. Classics or new releases? Classics. But like if you count 80s as classics. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like 80s, 90s. Like stuff like that. Oh, like yeah. Like real classics. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, Legend and Goonies and yeah. Lost yeah. Boys. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, every generation has their classics. Yeah. yeah that's that's true. true. Oh, last thing is, do you have your phone? Uh, I do. It's right there. You do? Yeah. Hey, Jay, will you hand her that? We're going to um, judge you and just ask you how many emails, unread emails you have in your inbox. <gasps> you guys, I forgot bad. to warn you about this. No, She's going to be Team Amanda. Bad. Okay, do you I want to see? I feel this coming. Okay, 86 unanswered texts. 
Oh, 6,892 unanswered emails. Oh. She's my people. Although I hear someone's been doing some work. I have. I've been trying to improve myself. So you won't judge me. But I'm going to judge you right now. Go for it. 25,148. See, even she's having a heart attack over here. (laughs) See? No. Okay. Even your people don't aren't your people. (laughs) I mean, I was like embarrassed about 6,000. I'm at 44 right now. I have no shame. 44. But here's most my of that's issue because I haven't. I've been in here. Here's my issue <laughs> is I've been unsubscribing and unsubscribing and, and I'm very proud of you. But then I buy new things and they automatically subscribe yes, me. That's Get true. another email address, Amanda. I am not just for that online shopping. Organized or get rid of that one and make another one just for. I just made myself a new Gmail account the other day because I was like, you know what? I feel like I want all my bank accounts to go to one place. So boom, I got myself a new email address. You can do it very easily. You say that. but then, I mean, I do have 20 different email addresses, and some of them have tens of thousands of just gonna emails. Just going to say, there's, I can't keep them it's all cheap. organized. I've These are the three. ones I need to look at. Yeah. Well, At Christmas, I'll check the you know Hotmail account for my email me. receipts for my online shopping. That I'm, I'm making progress as a human. And you are, you are taking initiative. You. I'm very you know, proud these of you. Are your babies? You're acting like a big Those grown-up. Babies. I like it. It's kind of hard to see them. Oh got my three. gosh! She's got three. I've got three. Ah, we've got three schools. There's look at that. Yes, we each have three babies. Three and babies. You're on your way to your Let's fourth. See if I have right? a better picture. Well, we just finished our fourth. Oh, we just finished your fourth. But we with three that we went to. Okay. okay. But one that so we sent. So the fourth yeah. you still have to go to. I want to see your babies too. By the way, I'll are show you my babies? But like, we. So okay, the last so thing guys. we have to yeah. ask you is yeah. there's a secret jar over here. Oh yeah, you have to leave. it. And you oh. have to wait. Is this your crumpet? The crumpet. See our little the little crumpet. This is us yesterday. It was yesterday. Was oh wait, what happened there? Father's Day. Yes, that's and right. I don't know, oh, that's a video. That's why I'm do, it's doing that. Um, yeah, it was Father's Day, and so those oh are my those. gosh, oh three my boys gosh, and my so heartbreaker, gigantic husband, and uh, oh, they're all so handsome. They really Thank are. You. I mean, I think so, but I'm biased. They no, they really, really are. like a house full of this handsome one, but, guys. Yeah, but they all make really stupid faces when they take pictures. I mean, I can't because this uh, one's got his eyes closed. They this do it on purpose. This one's got his chin up, and this one's like trying to close his eyes, but didn't get it quite in time. Totally, I think they're like they look like they're blue. Then stealing. daddy kind of does it. Too. Daddy kind of. No, he. Looks they have the puppy sweet. dog eyes. But yeah. all right, we're gonna ask you to leave a secret so that at the end of the season we can go through the secret store and try to guess which one is you. Oh my gosh. Okay, great. It's but really fun. Thank you. We for always get it totally wrong. You have so to come back, and we're gonna do we're gonna do happy hour. Okay, next yeah, time we come, can we have can we have drinks and just like talk? Yeah, about yes. drinks? should we just do a drunken what women been? No, oh. I'm so serious. <gasps> we'll get joy. <gasps> Wait a minute. Can we do it like joy and cat and and like, we'll just have a drunken what women been? <laughs> no, no. Can we? I'm so serious. Can we, guys? This is now a binding yes. agreement. It's, I like it's this. one cocktail and Melissa Wait, will be gone. We'll all be like, wait. <laughs> I'm I'm a very lightweight. Oh good. I don't drink, so when I do, it's I'm too gin, Melissa. And cut off after two. Noted. Bring in the gin. What is the, what's that show? Oh my gosh. On Bravo, Andy, um, uh, oh, 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 what, um, what, what would you, oh, what is it called? But they get drunk. Um, like, it was, drunk history or whatever No, it is? no. Andy Bravo. Andy, Andy. Oh, uh, on Bravo. Yeah, on Bravo. Andy Cohen. Yeah. What's the oh. show that. Were they going no, get No, because I was thinking Graham Norton, because all oh, of his guests, they, that, they, that would be they really fun. Show, be really I fun? met Graham Norton once. The oh, only time I ever drank. Oh. He was lovely. Oh, good. He was so lovely. Okay, good. Because he made that? a face and I was like, oh. No, I'm, I'm sad because I would love to, like, do that one day. I love watching his show. Oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. Everybody has a drink and just laughs. No, it's see, like, that's hilarious. what I did yeah. this on Andy's show on Bravo, and but uh, one of the Kardashians was there, and, few, and you're supposed to have a few drinks, so all my friends wanted to like drink in the dressing room, but I don't drink. So like having a drink or two, I went out there, I was so paranoid. I'm not talking oh, enough, I'm talking too no. much. There's a Kardashian here, I probably won't get to talk at all. Should I talk? Maybe I should talk. Do I look stupid? I think my leather jacket was a bad idea. You know, I'm like, in oh, my head, I'm spiraling no. out so quickly. If you watch it, I'm probably just, I feel like I just sat there with like a mad face the whole time. Oh, no. Because like, I, because you were trying to keep it together, so it just came off mad. Yeah. That's alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I was like, alcohol induced oh, RBF. Shit. Why did I have some tequila shots before? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, if it was me, I'd be like, <laughs> but that's our next. That's what we'll do. I'm we'll, we'll, have a girl, we'll do a girls' night. We'll do a girls' okay. night, what women binge while we happy hour it up. What do you yes. say? We could do it live. Ooh, Ooh, that'd be right. fun. Let's do that. that. Yeah, we can. All right. I like okay. our plan. Well, well thank guys. you for being here. Thank you so much for having so me. So fun. I'm so happy thrilled. hour next. I'm so, okay. Have to see you at happy hour. <laughs> I'll see you there. <laughs> and everyone should check out Resident Evil. Oh, yes, thank you. Yes, coming up this month. 
thanks, guys. And have and um, hope you're having currently right now an incredible time I'm in sure Africa. I'm sure I'm having a great time in Africa right now. And I'll tell you all about it next week when I come back. Yes. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. And thanks, everybody, for joining us. I love you guys. <laughs> 